Is repentance necessary for salvation? The short answer is yes. Uh, some make this error that repentance is wrapped up in faith and does not have to be preached. Well, here are some responses to that. If repentance and faith are the same, why did Paul make such a plain distinction between them? Testifying both to the Jews and also to the Greeks, repentance towards God and faith towards our Lord Jesus Christ, Acts 20.21. In reality, repentance and faith are two different actions, though they are intimately connected and cannot necessarily be separated in time. Repentance is to acknowledge one's sin and rebellion against God and to change one's mind about sinning against God. Repentance is surrender. Faith is to trust the finished work of Christ for forgiveness. Repentance and faith are the two aspects of man's response to God's offer of salvation. And here's another response. If repentance and faith are the same, why did all the, of the New Testament preachers pr proclaim repentance? Many arguments have been given to justify not preaching repentance, but the bottom line is that the Bible preaches, preachers proclaimed repentance. If repentance is totally wrapped up in believing, why did the Lord Jesus Christ preach, Except you repent, ye shall all likewise perish? Luke 13.3 Why did Peter preach, Repent ye therefore, and be converted? In Acts 3.19 Why did Paul preach, God now commandeth all men everywhere to repent? Acts 17.30 Or men should repent and turn to God and do works meet for repentance? In Acts 26.20 If repentance and faith are the same, why did the Lord Jesus Christ say that repentance is a is part of the Great Commission, and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in His name among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem, in Luke 24, 47? The answer is that repentance is to be preached, and faith is to be preached. While these doctrines are intimately connected, they are not the same. Biblical salvation involves both. Repentance towards God and faith towards our Lord Jesus Christ, Acts 20.21. 20, that is what the Lord's apostles preached, and they are our only infallible guides. Those who claim that repentance does not have to be preached or that it is the same as faith are denying the plain teaching of the Word of God. By the way, as for the Gospel of John not using the word repentance, it does not mention the virgin birth either or many other things that are found in other portions of Scripture. We are given four Gospels so that we will have a complete picture of Christ's person, work, and message. And the fact remains that repentance is mentioned 27 times in the Gospels alone and 59 times in the New Testament. That is a heavy emphasis. So we see very clearly there that repentance and faith are separate, though they are also the same. And repentance does mean to turn from one sin to, from sins to God and that repentance is necessary for salvation, and it is to be preached. Thank you. God bless. Except ye be converted, and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven.